man. We're going to Rockland. <laughs> I haven't been up this early since high school. Me neither. Man, how come you dragged me out here so early in the morning? I really want a lobster right now. Here's the weather, man, John. Sweet. This is a great place to eat. Never been here this early. Well, I'll be back in a second. Open daily at 11 a.m. God, 11? Oh, shit. Where to now? I guess we'll get a McLobster. Hi, can I help you? Uh, yeah, we need three McLobster Deluxes. Gee, I don't think they're ready yet. Oh. All right, well, um... Hold on a second, then. No lobsters. Shoot. Thanks a lot. I'll tell you something. These Eggman muffins are not lobster. Are you guys, are you guys up for a... Uh... Hey, let's go to Maine. Let's get lobsters in Maine. Let's go to Maine. Uh, I'm up for that. Crocs? All right, let's go to Maine. All right. Hey, uh, what do you think about this going to Maine idea with pepper? Well... I'm a little scared going with Pepper, but it's a great day to go to Maine. You guys doing? I'm following. <laughs> yeah, get that. Clear. You guys ready? Yep. Let's do it.
They should rename Maine the state of false advertisement. Despite all these ads, license plate, etc., they said they were out of season. We went home empty-handed, and we also went home with empty fuel tanks. Unfortunately, we made it, though, as you can see on this landing. Another successful land. Yeah, me too. Two scoops could make it happen. So, we're going to ride to school. Kellogg's Raisin Bran. Part of the department discovered six deaths and 158 injuries during laparoscopic gallbladder surgery. Unusual complications, including cuts or other injuries to major blood vessels, bile ducts, and other organs. It's a possibility that inexperience and insufficient education and insufficient supervision may have played a role. That possibility is making even the medical community nervous. In the archives of surgery, a physician predicted the deaths and injuries may ignite a firestorm of litigation. And it's feared the problem will only get worse as patient demand for the new procedure increases. Laparoscopic surgery already accounts for around 80% of the half million gallbladder operations done each year and it is increasingly used to perform appendectomies, hysterectomies, hernia repair, and kidney and bowel removal. It required surgeons to sort of jump into the laparoscopic field. And, and I think that some of the problems that occurred with this technique uh, in terms of uh, injury to patients occurred because there was a massive push by the population to have, quote, laparoscopic surgery or Band-Aid surgery. Studies show that in as many as 98% of cases, laparoscopic surgery is safe in experienced hands. And experts say there's a learning curve as any new technique makes its way into the mainstream. It's tricky. Surgeons must get used to using a two-dimensional TV screen as a guide during these operations instead of their own eyes. But patients are left to wonder where their own surgeon is on that learning curve. There should be no learning curve that's detrimental to the patient. To reduce the risks, New York State now requires that surgeons perform at least 15 laparoscopic procedures under supervision before a hospital may allow them to operate independently. Dan? Yeah, that's the state. What can patients do to lower their risk? One big thing, ask questions. Ask, for instance, ask your surgeon how he or she was trained to do laparoscopic surgery. Has the surgeon assisted or actually performed this operation? If the surgeon has performed laparoscopic surgeries, ask how many times. Also, experts say that patients need to keep in mind that even this so-called Band-Aid surgery is still major surgery and not without some risk of complications. Thanks, Edie. Coming up next on... <laughs> forget that night. It was the middle of the night. My stomach was on fire. I was scared. And when I got to the doctor, I thought he'd give me a prescription. You know what my doctor said? My doctor said my lamp. For occasional heartburn and acid indigestion, doctors recommend my Lanta most, even over prescription drugs. I got my prescription. My doctor said my Lanta. It offers a powerful V6 engine, front and rear temperature controls, 
a four-speaker CD system, individual headphone jacks, and space to easily store your big objects and conveniently store your little ones. With all the things you have to remember, isn't it nice to know there's a minivan where nothing has been forgotten? The Nissan Quest. For a limited time, the Quest is now available with 1.9 APR financing. Finally, a medical show with a sense of humor. Exactly how long have you been a woman? Two years. Medicine Ball premieres tonight at 9 on Channel 2. Fox, the new home of the NHL. Premium. Hey, Smarty. Okay, here comes Smarty. Do you guys stand close together? Do you guys need to have a moment? Zero. Camera, don't take too many pictures of Spencer. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. No, he's just not on. No. Give it a little. next year's final four from a better seat get the march madness meal deal with free wings a free ncaa tournament guidebook and a chance to win tickets to next year's final four who knows these seats could be yours man i am the writing on the wall myth the whisper in the classroom lover i came for you avenger Clive Barker's ultimate urban legend returns to claim what is his. Our journey begins. Candyman, farewell to the flesh, rated R, starts Friday at select theaters. Dr. Danny Macklin is always compassionate. We did everything we could, but your husband's dead.